In this video I'm going to be working out an individual uh, trig limit and before I get started I wrote a couple of um, limit properties that you're going to need to have memorized or be aware of in order to be able to work this limit out. We've got the limit as x approaches 0 of cosine x minus 1 over x and we should know that that is equal to 0 and the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x is equal to 1. Alright now as with any limit problem you should Start with a direct substitution, plugging in to make sure that you really do have an indeterminate form. So I'm going to plug 0 in, so I'll have cosine of 0 minus 1 all over the sine of 0. Okay, uh, cosine of 0 is 1, so on top I'll have that 1 minus 1, and the sine of 0 is 0. So I will have that 0 over 0, which is that indeterminate form, which means then I just have to do some algebra manipulation to be able to come up with this limit. Okay, now, knowing these two properties of limits, then I can see already I've got a cosine x minus 1, and I've got a sine x. So really, the only thing I need for both of these is to have a division by x on both of those. So I can multiply through by a form of 1 and not change this expression. So since I want my x in the bottom of both the numerator and the denominator, I'm going to choose to multiply through by 1 over x. Okay, so let's put that on this one right here. So I'm going to choose to multiply that top by 1 over x, and then I'm going to choose to multiply the bottom by 1 over x. Okay, anything over itself is always 1, so I have not altered this original equation. All right, doing that, then I'm going to have the limit as x approaches 0. On top, I will have cosine of x minus 1 all over x. And then in my denominator, I will have sine x over x. All right, I can take the limit of the numerator and the limit of the denominator. So let's um, go ahead and put that step in just so we see that. The limit as x approaches 0 of cosine x minus 1 all over x. And then the limit as x approaches 0 of the sine x over x. It's putting an extra step in there, but showing you that property of limits that says that you can legally do this. All right, I know this one is 0. I know this limit is 1. 0 divided by 1 is 0. So then there are my justification steps for that. Um, definitely, if the videos are helping you, don't forget to share with your friends so they benefit as well, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.